iPhone 6s Plus versus Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech Help You to Master Your Technology and welcome to the Apple iPhone 6s Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Now, this is gonna be a speed test only because I have not had enough time with the Galaxy S8 Plus to give you a full-on review of these two. So there will be more content between these two coming forward, but just not like a review right now. This is just a speed test. So let's go ahead and boot both these up at the same time in three, two, and one. And the 6S Plus does have an Apple A9 CPU that is 2 gigabytes of RAM on that guy and the Galaxy S8 Plus does have a Snapdragon 835 CPU as well as 4 gigabytes of RAM and it also has an Adreno 540 GPU. Power GT7600 here for the GPU on the iPhone 6S Plus. Seen there that the iPhone 6S Plus comes out with the first win on the boot up test and it was only slightly, a couple milliseconds, maybe a second here or there on the boot up test. So I'm not gonna call that a huge win for the 6S Plus, but this video can be useful for those of you who are actually on a 6S Plus, you're on your two year cycle, you're ready for an upgrade and you wanna see how much of a speed difference you're gonna get between this and the Galaxy S8 Plus. So they are both connected to the Wi-Fi network. You've seen I closed everything out there. Same Wi-Fi network. We're going to run through these applications really quickly and test this real world performance. So let's go ahead and start with Facebook. And you can see Facebook is ready to go there first for the S8 coming home here. Let's go into Instagram here. And you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram down below in the description. But you can see about the same speed there on Instagram. So coming home here, kind of similar there coming home. Let's go into Twitter. And you could see right there, Twitter does open first there for the Galaxy S8 Plus coming home here. Let's go into YouTube. And you could see Galaxy S8 Plus slightly ahead. So fast app opening here for the S8 Plus. Going into Best Buy, you could see Best Buy was fast on the Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's go into Uber. And you could see Uber wins well ahead on the S8 Plus. And let's go into Wikipedia. And you can see Wikipedia, I think that was a 6S Plus. Coming home here, let's go into App Store, Play Store. And you can see about dead even there. Let's go into Pinterest on both devices. And I'm gonna give that one to the S8 Plus. Coming home here, let's go into Play Newsstand. And you can see the S8 Plus ahead there. Coming home here, let's go into Temple Run on both devices. And you can see Galaxy S8 Plus slightly ahead there. Coming home here, let's go into Dead Trigger. And the Galaxy S8 Plus has pretty good gaming performance and load times as well. You can see right there with the 6S Plus, but the 6S Plus is going to win it there for Dead Trigger. Let's go on a Jetpack Joyride. And you can see who's going to get it here. S8 Plus is ready to go first. And you've seen that the Galaxy S8 Plus can handle gaming quite well. If you guys want to see a separate gaming review between these guys, comment that down below. I'm going to do some other gaming reviews with other iPhones against the S8 Plus later on this month. So let's go into settings here. And you could see about the same. I'd give that one to the iPhone coming home here. Let's go into speed test. And you can see the iPhone wins the speed test application. And now the Galaxy S8 Plus going into Geekbench. iPhone wins that one. Coming home here, let's go into internet on both. And let's just search up apple.com here for both devices. Apple.com here for the iPhone 6S Plus. So the iPhone 6S Plus is a blazing fast phone here. Even in 2017, it can go toe to toe with any of the latest flagships. The 7 Plus was truly, or the 6S Plus was truly a monster phone in performance when it was released and it's still a monster phone in performance to this day, as you can see right there. Going into Samsung.com here for the 6S Plus and Samsung.com here for the Galaxy S8 Plus. Let's see which one wins this one. Let's hit go. And you could see the Galaxy S8 Plus wins it to its own site. Fast scrolling there for the Galaxy. And over here, smooth scrolling on the iPhone. You got to pick and choose what you like more. I personally prefer the smooth scrolling on the iPhone, but that's just me. It's just a personal preference. You might differ. Let's go try one more site. Let's try yahoo.com here for the S8 Plus. And let's try yahoo.com here for the 6S Plus. And let's hit go. 
and you could see success plus wins there only slightly on the galaxy so coming home there let's go ahead and run some multitasking now people did say there's an update for the galaxy s8 but if i go on a software update and i check for updates i'm gonna go ahead and hit ok you can see my current software is up to date so no update yet for me so let's go ahead and run this multitasking here let's go into facebook and you can see the 6s plus ready to go not for the galaxy let's go into instagram that was about even let's go into twitter that was about even let's go into youtube and you can see that's about even let's go into best buy and you can see the galaxy was behind there let's go into uber and the iPhone was behind. Let's go into Wiki. And about the same. Let's go into Play Store, App Store. iPhone ahead there. Let's go into Pinterest. And if I'm missing any of these, go ahead and comment that down below. I'm looking through a camera, so I don't always get them right. Let's go into Play Newsstand. And you can see iPhone ahead there. Temple Run. You can see about the same. Let's go into Dead Trigger and the iphone ready to go so i think overall the better performance here across the board has been the iphone 6s plus let's go into jetpack joyride but the galaxy s8 plus is about the same it's not too far off they're about the same honestly but for those of you on a two-year cycle and you're ready for an upgrade going to the galaxy s8 plus from the iPhone 6s Plus is absolutely no increase really in terms of everyday use and speed. You're going to get about the same thing in both of these. So when you're deciding between a 6s Plus, you really got to look at that hardware because that's really where you're upgrading in that infinity display here. You're upgrading the ability to expand your storage. I do think the camera is a bit better on the Galaxy S8 Plus on both front and the rear than the iPhone 6s Plus. And you have expandable storage and water resistance where you don't have that on the 6s Plus. So that pretty much wraps it up here for this speed test. We did a boot up test, we did an application test, as well as a multitasking test here. I'm not gonna roll ahead and run those geek benches in this video. To me, it's not it's not even worth it to run those. The iPhone is gonna win in the single core and the Galaxy is gonna win in the multi-core. It's the same story every time here for these phones. Which one is the faster phone? Honestly, they're about even in terms of speed and that's saying a lot for the iPhone being almost two years old now. It's a 2015 edition iPhone and and the 6S Plus, 6S series, blazing fast smartphone, still blazing fast, even though it has less RAM and all of that here in 2017. Now I'm speaking from the standpoint of just an everyday consumer, someone who's just gonna use the phone in regular use, not go, you know, putting on custom kernels, custom ROMs, stuff like that. If you're gonna do that, of course you can get the Galaxy S8 Plus to be faster than the 6S Plus. But for everyday consumers just upgrading their iPhone 6S Plus to a Galaxy S8 Plus, you're not really upgrading too much in terms of speed. Speed, you're really upgrading in a lot of other key areas like the hardware the camera expandable storage water resistance features like that anyway if you guys enjoyed this video do me a favor click the like button for me comment any questions suggestions feedback you have down below in the comment section of this video Nick here help you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace